welcome today with fmz a global initiative to bring in leaders perspective and focusing on education in fm domain and uh, today we are steven from singapore uh, welcome steven and thank you for accepting and uh, my co-host lisa welcome uh, lisa and uh, over to you thank you so much even thank you so Hi, much sir. for taking your thank you hi thanks so much for taking your time to visit with us you have a a very impressive background and resume you're recognized internationally for your message about how fm adds value to business organizations and that's really a road map to the future of the industry so we're really happy you're willing to share your insights with us sure my pleasure thanks I've heard some concern about among some FMs about FM as a career um given the global mm -hmm. shift to more hybrid work what would be mm -hmm. your response to FMs that are uncertain about that shift Okay in my opinion I believe the hybrid work will become the will become work and the future will be uh, less predictable than before and about fm as a career i believe fm is in demand right organization are realizing the value of uh, facilities management during the pandemic and the current changing uh, business model and environment where fm is very much needed in enabling the workplace to keep pace with the organizational change that's my that's, answer that, that yeah. that's great so regardless of what's happening with, with facilities themselves the mm -hmm. facility manager is going to have a, a strong place yes Thank definitely you. definitely especially yeah. uh is very evidence uh during the past 3 years is evidence that uh so called fm as the unseen um uh, unsung hero has been surfaced to uh demonstrate its value um how it can actually uh, enable the workplace to adapt to the situation okay that's in whether it's a crisis or whether to enable the organization to remain relevant and competitive in the marketplace Excellent. and Thank you. i believe the uh many of the organization the management are now realizing the value of fm than before i think uh, thank you thank you for some i think this is hybrid is going to be future i think we cannot eliminate that everybody will come back to office i think those things looks like a past but uh, future is all about dynamics and uh, hybrid is going to stay hybrid is going to be future and uh, the value add focus what seems to require that a facility organization portion itself in a very proactive portion i would recommend that a fm struggling with the limited resources and uh, competing priorities begin to move is our organization in that direction i think as an fm we always have a constant of resources schedule and so on sure. so how do you uh, what do you suggest what is from the i've been interacting with a lot of industry leaders um, what is your thought in this uh, aspect uh well i believe uh, most most fms are facing that and i can think of this suggestion for those who are struggling and experiencing the limited resources uh first fm in the time where by experiencing uh the limited resources need to focus on the fm mission no why fm exists no most fms are actually drifting away from its mission and spending too much time on other things that uh that are matter to the organization that are important to uh in adding value to the organization okay take for example uh probably you may be aware that uh, fm uh, lately has been bombarded with a lot of uh new technology innovation and a lot much has been um talk about smart fm new technology application such as the building information 
uh, modeling, um, Internet of Things, uh, and even artificial intelligence and machine learning, so and so on, and following the trends, which from my observation, uh, most can barely articulate and demonstrate uh, those implementation as business advantage and feasible return on investment. They are just influenced by the marketing, you know, the marketing uh, pitch about uh, that FM need to, to keep up uh, by uh, uh, implementing uh, state-of-the-art kind of technology. But again, uh, focus on the mission to guide resource prioritization, um, decision-making based on the risk and opportunity. Second, I'll say negotiate based on the required level of service. If the resources allocated for FM operations are not reasonable and practical, then you need to validate with your management or stakeholders on the essentials and the good to have. Know that the FM function is to manage the facilities activities, and they are based on the level of service required by the functional stakeholders to facilitate their function operations success. Isn't it? And I can think of, okay, one more. Use resources that will bring about the best return to the organization and based absolutely on mission critical and those that are strategic to the organization. All right, to summarize, okay, these are the three suggestions to FM should they experience limited resources. One, to focus on the FM mission. Two, negotiate based on the required level of service. And use, thirdly, uh, resources that may bring about the best value and return to their organization. And in the case that where FM are allocated with challenging limited resources, then the resources must be expensed on activities that are absolutely on things that are mission critical. Okay, these are my three points. Thank you so much. So getting yeah. back to the core value, the core, the whole core of FM, which is a very important reminder to people, um, not getting mm -hmm. distracted by the, uh, the, the new toys that come on That's the market. Right. That's right. So what do you see as the greatest um, opportunity then for an FM that is within reach of most people to have a positive value impact in their organizations? Okay. Um, I will relate that based on FM as a management discipline. Um, as a management discipline that integrates the management expertise on engineering practice for a holistic approach. And isn't that what uh, most organization management today are expecting from FM? Okay, if that's so, here are my thoughts that um, FM can demonstrate and create perception of value impact to the organization's management or the C-suite. Okay, first, uh, FM must be able to organize and provide information to help guide management in making sound decision for FM expenditure and investment. The number two, FM must be equipped with managerial finance knowledge and skill so as to be able to articulate the value of FM in a language understood by the management to demonstrate cost optimization and best value return on investment. And that's the mark of a good stewards of the costly facilities that's been entrusted to FM. And third, which I find that is very important, the FM need to appreciate its unique value proposition. 
Okay. It's important because that will impact the FMS mindset, which in turn influence how FM can be of strategic relevance and importance to business, such as to relate FM as a business advantage by optimizing facilities operations to enable its organization to gain advantage on the cost of production and delivery of services against the organization competitor. So I suppose these suggestions are the low hanging fruits that FMS can get started with first. Yeah, that's my answer to this question. Thank you, Stephen. I think you summarized it. I think it's very important for uh, FMS to look at how they can uh, keep adding value. I think uh, creating impact. I think you have also seen in the pandemic that uh, the outreach of the FMS typically ensured the business continuity of the organization, whether moving everything to work from home or work from anywhere. I think there's a lot of support. And there is also a lot of recognition of the FM professionals during this last two years. Right? Mm. And, um, is there a single piece of advice that you would give to FM embarking on this journey? Okay, great question. Uh, I've been asked many times about this. It's very challenging to just give a single piece of advice. <laughs> Rather, uh, yeah, it's kind of difficult. Rather, I, I'd like to to impress upon those who are embarking on this journey that this is a right profession, that this is a gold mine profession. And to succeed well, you need to be grounded on the mission of FM. What is the purpose for facility management, the function within an organization? Why it exists? And to succeed well is not based on theoretical learning or academic learning. You need to be uh, flexible, agile in delivering, very important, what matters to your organization. Importantly, find reasons to enjoy your career, the, your journey, right? And practice value-based FM. And of course, uh, this is something that I believe in and I've written this book. And of course, if if you have any question, feel free to just bounce questions. And if I may, um, I very much just to give you my opinion on how you can get started well and sustain the journey and enjoy as much as I have been for over 30 years. All right. Yeah. Stephen, you hit it on the nail. I'm going to show this video to I, I teach pre apprenticeship students just entering FM. And I'm going to show them this video to remind them why they're considering it. That's great. Good, good. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Stuart. I think uh, one of the important aspects, as you put across rightly, is enjoy what you do. I think uh, FM is a service industry. I think uh, uh, people only think of you when there is an issue or a problem. I think one is how do we keep self motivated and motivate our team? I think leadership qualities define. Uh, Right, we defend the way you take your department forward. I know there will be constraints of resources, budget. This is going to be that this will not be eliminated, right? So, even it, it can be a fortune 100 companies, they will also have a constraint of budget, not just a mid sized company. So, everybody will have, but as a leader, how do you look after us understanding the organization objectives? How do you align FM into organization, understand the dynamics? And it's all about people management. How do you manage people is going to be very, very important. And, uh, Thank you for sharing your insights. I think uh, there's a lot sure. to learn. Lot. We'll have more uh, leadership series. Maybe I have some specific series where you talk about value-based FM. I think we'll cover one very specific to value-based FM. And thank you for joining, uh, Stephen. And uh, thank you all and keep watching us. Thank you. Sure. Thank you.